the big four audit and accountancy firms which advise the cream of India Inc. are all set for another shake-up. KPMG's deputy CEO Dinesh Kanbar, who spearheaded the tax and markets in practice, uh, practice in India, has hung up his boots. We've got Ashwin Mohan standing by with those details. Ashwin, this is one of the biggest exits in recent times on the big four. Why the sudden move? Lavan, you're right. Uh, this is arguably perhaps the biggest uh, single uh, senior level exit in the big four in the past few years. Uh, interestingly, the last time an exit at the Big Four created such a flutter was when Dinesh Kanabar himself quit PwC to join KPMG back in 2009. And that development, of course, triggered a massive exodus. Almost 18 partners and around 180 professionals uh, quit PwC, joined him and went on uh, to join KPMG. So he took 200 people along with him. Will history repeat itself? Well, only time will tell. Dinesh Kanabar has served as the deputy CEO at KPMG for a period of uh, about four years. Uh, what we understand from sources is that he is likely to step down by the end of October. Uh, we also understand that one of the major reasons why he stepped down was because uh, he wants to float an independent consulting firm, something on his own. He wants to float an entrepreneurial venture and that venture we understand will have a, a specific focus as far as tax and M&A is concerned. Now, Kanabar has about two and a half decades of uh, advising not only India Inc. but also the cream of MNCs. Let's also not forget that he played a major role in formulating several tax policies from the government's point of view, especially when it comes to retro taxation as well as GAR. And clearly we'll have to wait and watch to see how his exit uh, will hurt KPMG in the days to come.